Hey everyone, Brian Fitzpatrick here from Pennsylvania's first congressional district. Uh, I wish I could be with you in person today, but I wanted to thank uh, Less Cancer uh, for leading this national cancer prevention workshop. Uh, as you all know uh, well, cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States, and it's very personal to me uh, as I lost my brother and my best friend Mike uh, to cancer several years ago. Uh, it is imperative uh, that we expand awareness about the critical significance of cancer prevention particularly in rural areas. Uh, the current funding levels for research do not meet the alarming rate at which Americans are dying from this disease. Uh, and that's why I led uh, and authored the bipartisan uh, KO Cancer Act, uh, which increases, significantly increases the funding for cancer research uh, for the National Cancer Institute to more appropriately align with the current cancer mortality rates. One of the most effective ways that we can improve outcomes uh, is by increasing accessibility to early detection screenings, uh, which is why I introduced the Bipartisan uh, Access to Lung Cancer Screening Act, which takes critical steps towards increasing uh, lung cancer screening rates across the country while reducing barriers to preventative care, particularly in underserved areas. Uh, lung cancer claims the most American lives annually of any form of cancer, accounting for nearly 25% of cancer deaths. In addition to introducing uh, that bill, I also introduced the Screening for Communities uh, to Receive Early and Equitable Needed Services for Cancer Act, also known as the Screens Act. Uh, this legislation improves access to screening services, particularly for breast cancer and cervical cancer, making it easier for vulnerable populations to get the preemptive care that they need. And lastly, I introduced the Access to Bre Breast Cancer Diagnosis Act of 2023. This bipartisan legislation makes breast cancer diagnostic tests more affordable and accessible to women by eliminating co-pays and additional out-of-pocket expenses. I want to thank uh, Less Cancer Foundation for spreading the word for all the work that you do uh, in educating uh, our healthcare providers, uh, at-risk populations, low-income communities, uh, and workers uh, to stop cancer at its source. As a co-chair uh, co of the House Cancer Caucus, I will continue to fight for legislation that boosts funding for cancer research, supports patients, supports survivors, and supports families, and also to bolster prevention efforts across the board to ensure that cancer disparities are eliminated once and for all. I look forward to continuing to work with you in this fight. Thanks for having me, and God bless.